Hi de ho everyone, let's forego the formalities and get right into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This story is titled, I warned her. My ex, 29 female, and I, 29 male, met in college in 2013. I was 23 and she was 22, we became fast friends and eventually we developed feelings for each other and became a couple a year later, it was a great relationship and I don't regret it. Fast forward to 2016, I was home when she called me saying she was outside and that we needed to talk. So I went outside and I saw that she was crying in her car. I went up to her and asked what's wrong. She confessed that she cheated on me. I don't want to go into details because I'm trying to keep this short, I was shocked, hurt, and I teared up. She went on saying that we needed to break up because I deserved better than her and that she developed feelings for a fair partner. I warned her about rushing it with someone else and that a relationship that begins by cheating usually ends badly. After we finished talking, I walked back to my house but before I went in, I turned around to see her one more time and she was still crying. Once I went inside she posted on social media saying, I wish I could just disappear, with a crying emoji. I proceeded to remove her from social media after that. As I was mourning the end of my relationship, I also thought about how her new relationship will blow up in her face. Fast forward two years later, she messages me asking me to meet up because she wanted to talk. I knew the day had arrived. So I met her at diner, I live in New Jersey, and she was miserable, she looked like she was crying before we met up. When she saw me she gave a weak high and gave her a cold one. This surprised her and got teary-eyed. I started by asking her what she wanted to talk about. She started saying that her and a fair partner broke up two weeks ago and admitted that the relationship with him was horrible. It turns out he was a narcissist, who emotionally abused her. She also admitted that the guilt of what she did to me never went away and that I was right. She then noticed my emotionless expression and turned away saying you used to be so happy and silly. It hurts seeing you like this and I know it's my fault because of my bad, selfish, and dumb decisions. She went to say I'm sorry for everything, I thought about you every day for the past two years. She then said not only did I ruin us but I lost my best friend, you were my best friend and I ruined that. She started crying again saying I'm not here to get back together because I don't deserve that and I have no right to ask that. I proceeded to say that it's true you that don't deserve me. It gets quiet and she turned away again. She then I said that she missed me and that she missed me for two years, then she asked me to be friends again. I told her I can't promise anything. She starts crying for the final time and I left the diner. As I was walking out I turn over and she's still crying. How history repeats itself. In the end cheating ruins the cheater and the victim. Never cheat it's usually never worth it. Thanks for reading. Edit. So because I got numerous requests I'm going to post what happened after I left the diner. It will be called what happened next. Comment 1. That is the thing that the cheater can never understand. She went on saying that we needed to break up because I deserved better than me and that she developed feelings for a fair partner. I warned her about rushing it with someone else and that a relationship that begins by cheating usually ends badly. Quote. She was right you did deserve better. And even after you broke up with her you told her that it would likely end badly. The thing that gets me is two years later she decides to value your friendship. What friendship is there of any value? I have friends on Facebook that have shown me more consideration than this person has to you. Consequences suck but they are all on her and by her choices. Comment 2. Reminds me of my story. He cheated on me with his ex that cheated on him and then left me to go with her. It was hard and for a while I felt worthless but she ended up not caring for him at all. It didn't feel good for me at all but I just knew I was right. Cheating never goes right and it always blows up in your face. You can't escape karma and what you put out into the universe will always come back to you, good or bad. Comment 3. What really sucks for her is not only did she blow her relationship with you, she probably exhausted herself trying to make her relationship with a fair partner work. What's amazing to me is how much a wayward spouse will pour into a relationship with a fair partner, to prove to themselves that leaving the betrayed spouse was the right thing to do. As evidenced by her new and great relationship with the one. Comment 4. You are walking the correct path my friend. Give her no attention ever again don't meet with her ever again and don't accept any communications from her. Don't keep track of her through other people. Once you flush don't go looking for what you flushed. And you certainly don't want it back. Comment 5. I think it was hard for you to see her again. 
I think she was hoping you would forgive her and take her back. I'm glad you did not, because then you would be plan B, the backup, safety net. Because you need to think it like this way, if the affair partner did not break up with her, then she would have not contacted you. She says she thought of you every day for over two years, then why not contact you in that period? Why not see it like it was a mistake and break up with a fair partner and talk to you? No, a fair partner had to break up before she contacted you. In my opinion she was looking for forgiveness, maybe friendship again and maybe ultimately getting back together with you. You were right to hold that off and push her away because remember, she had no problem cheating on you and leaving you for a fair partner. Now things went the she did not planned, and now you are good enough again. Leave her be, you just move on and leave her behind. If you have more to tell about this, how it went further, don't hesitate to tell. Take care. Update. Hi everyone, I have decided to do an update to my original post due to numerous requests. This will be my only update since there is nothing else to say afterwards. Before I go any further I have some things to clarify about my original post. 1. The affair partner was emotionally abusive, I know because my ex showed me her texts and it was full of no one will ever love you, and you're ugly. Also, he broke up with her by text. What a scumbag. 2. She did try to reach out to me multiple times during the two years she was with a fair partner. She asked, how are you doing, I'm sorry, and are you okay? I ended up not responding. I didn't block her because I was waiting for the time when her relationship blew up. 3. Friends and family actually saw her during the two years and they all said the same thing. She looked miserable and when she saw them, she would run up to them ask how I'm doing, and to tell me that she will never stop being sorry. 4. The diner meeting happened in 2018. Now back to the story. After I got home from the diner she messaged me saying, if we become friends again I'll work my butt off to earn back your trust and if not please know I'll always be sorry for everything. Fast forward a year later and I bumped into her at a restaurant while buying lunch. We caught up and I wasn't as cold as before. I will admit I'm a little embarrassed about what I did next. I offered her a friend with benefits relationship with me and she accepted. The friend with benefits thing lasted for a few months. When I look back, I think I did it for closure and to show her what she's missing. I ended it because I felt that I got my closure. She was disappointed but also understood. A few months later she started seeing someone new and they dated until early 2020 before the pandemic hit. She showed up to my home unannounced, and revealed to me that the new guy cheated on her with multiple women, and actually blamed her for the cheating. Just like the affair partner the new scumbag broke up with her by text. Wow. She went to say how much she hated herself for what she did to me, but now she understands how I felt. I gave her a hug and told her to take these lessons and never forgot them. She thanked me and left. Fast forward to now, I heard she's in IC and remains single by choice. I saw her mother recently and she informed me, as for me I'm single working on myself. I'm getting into shape and I'm working in psychology, guess what inspired me, thank you for reading my story. I appreciate everyone who read and replied. This story is titled, How Did You Feel Better About Yourself? My fiancé and the father of my child cheated on me yesterday. We got in a fight and he took it as the relationship being over. If it wasn't for COVID we would have been married by now, but that pushed it back and I just feel destroyed. I'm calling all of our vendors and cancelling and taking care of our baby. And I feel disgusted with myself. Legit cannot look in a mirror or take off the dozen shirts I have on. How did you feel more like yourself and get over the partner's infidelity? Or just stop blaming yourself? Comment 1. I'm feeling your pain right now as well, I watched my girlfriend cheat on me right in front of my eyes two days ago on my birthday. It's 4am where I am and I can't sleep due to nightmares from it, in with you on this. Comment 2. Well thank god you didn't marry that man. You need to heal a lot. You're going to miss the intimacy but just remember it's the intimacy he gave and not him. He's proven he incapable of putting anyone else first but himself. Not sure where you are but go for a walk outside if you can. Go to mom and dad or somewhere where people love you. You need to know that no matter what struggle you could have had in your marriage he would have used that to seek validation somewhere else. I'm sorry he did this to you and your baby. Don't stay hold up at home. Comment 3. You need to finish this relationship for yourself, cut all contact with both, except for only child issues with the father of your child. 
Look for Grey Rock and 180 for learn how to communicate in this cases somehow they will try to blame you just to feel better and not like the traitors they are. Look for individual counseling to manage the pain and sorrow for this betrayal. My best wishes for you. Thank you so very much for listening. Please check out my other videos and like and subscribe.